Siri Shortcuts is incredibly powerful. You can make so many shortcuts that can save you lots of time, but one limitation you might realize is that you can't set shortcuts to run at specific times or at certain locations. For example, maybe you'd like to send your ETA home when you're leaving work, or maybe you would like to send your location to somebody at a specific time. If you wanted to do this, there is a workaround using the Apple Reminders app. So let's go right ahead and see how we can do that. So one of the first things we'll need to do is we'll need to get the URL scheme of the shortcut that we'd like to run. Now you could make it manually, but to make it easy for you, we made a series shortcut that will automatically get it for you. So the link is in the description down below. So go ahead and download the shortcut and then run it. And you'll see that a list of the shortcuts you have installed are presented. Simply tap the one you want and it will automatically create that URL and copy it to your clipboard. Now, if you paste it, you'll see that the URL has been created and it's ready to be used. Now this part is easily the most difficult. Open Safari, click on the search bar, and then paste your URL. Hit the go button, and then immediately after, hit the share key. I've slowed down the video significantly to give you an idea of how quickly you'll need to do this. Also, while it is possible to do it on an iPhone in landscape, I found it was much easier to do it on an iPad. Here's some footage of me doing it in real time. It can be tricky at first to get it, but once you get the hang of it, it's fairly straightforward and easy. With that being done, tap on the reminders icon to create your reminder. You'll be asked to give it a name, so type in any name you want. I'll be using the name of the shortcut, but you can name it whatever you like. Once that's done, hit the add button and your reminder will be saved. Now you'll see if you open the reminders app that your reminder is now there. Tapping on the icon on the right will launch the shortcut, but let's edit it a little bit first. So if you go ahead and edit it, you'll see at the bottom the URL scheme that was used to create it. But this doesn't need to be in the notes, so in this case I'm just going to delete it and replace it with whatever I want. You also see that you can change the reminder, so if you want to remind you at a certain time, you can go ahead and do that. And more than that, you can also schedule it uh, to repeat, so if you want it every certain day of the week, you can go ahead and do that. Now this is great for if you want to have a reminder pop up at a certain time of the day. But if you want it more location aware, perhaps when you leave home or when you arrive at work, you'll need a GPS enabled device. And when you have that, you'll see that you can have remind me at a location, in which case you can change if you want it when you arrive or leave at a certain location. And with that, you're done. Let's see how it works. You'll notice on the lock screen, if you tap on the Reminders notification, you will open the Reminders app. And then all you have to do to run your shortcut is tap on the Shortcuts icon. And as you can see here, my shortcut is running. Now this is great and very convenient, but there is a slightly faster way of running your shortcut. Instead of tapping on the notification, if you open the action menu, such as by invoking it with 3D or haptic touch, you can click on Open Shortcuts, and it will launch your shortcut immediately without having to go to the Reminders app. Another thing to note is that this isn't limited to Siri shortcuts. If you know the URL scheme of an app you'd like to run, you can use that instead, and you can launch literally any app from Reminders, allowing you to easily open them at certain times or locations. Well folks, that does it for today's tutorial. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out our website. In the link in the description down below, you can find a written tutorial for this and many others. And until next time, thanks for watching.